Hello guys, welcome to online web tutorial presented by Profotech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress plugin development tutorial from scratch. And this is our 25th of this video session series in which we are going to discuss about plugin folder structure, plugin comment section as well as how can, how can we define our constants. In the last video sessions we had seen about the introduction section of our custom plugin that we are going to make. Okay, so let's back to our code editor first. So let's make a folder structure for our custom plugin. Just I'm clicking on make a folder like my books. Okay. And if you go to the administrator panel, then you could not find the plugin that we have seen in our last video. Just I'm clicking on plugins. And here is the currently installed plugins like anti-spam, custom plugin, hello dolly, my widget plugin, and nothing else more. Okay. So let's make a plugin of like my books into this list. So this is the folder that we have created. This folder basically contains the folders like assets. This assets folder basically contains the folders for our JavaScript files, our CSS files, as well as our images. Okay. So basically my books is the folder our plugin folder which basically contains our assets folder okay and this assets folder contains three folders like css images and javascripts okay and you just close that and make another folder which contains our views files okay views files in the sense like interfaces that we will make for plugin like add new and book list okay as well as edit form so these are the sections that we need to make an interface so all the views we will save into this views folder and the next folder will be like library okay from where we will handle our ajax request and finally we need to make a file for our custom plugin which basically introduces our plugin like wp my books okay so this is the basic hierarchy of our custom plugin folder guys that we need to follow which basically contains a folder like my books which contains three different folders assets library and views assets folder contains three different files of css images and js and this is the main file which basically introduces our plugin to wordpress okay so we need to make folder structure like that here is my books which basically contains three folders assets views and library okay and this is the main plugin file which basically introduces our plugin assets folder contains three different folders like css javascript and images okay so these are the resources that we need to store while making our plugin okay so this is the basic folder structure that we need to make and the next thing we need to see about the comment section okay about we have seen about the folder structure let's say about the comment section of our plugin which basically introduce introduction part okay so just i'm making a comment com multi-line comment and let's say plugin name is my books okay or simple my book plugin url and let's say https online way tutor hub dot blogspot okay and finally author equal to online way tutor and then author URI will be the same link that we have provided so far. Let's say, and finally, the version of this plugin. Okay, so let's say about 1.0 version. So, this is a simple introduction part, guys, that you need to make to introduce your plugin like what is your plugin name, plugin URI, author, author URI, as well as version. And the next thing that we need to give, like description of this plugin. Okay, so we need to provide description also. Like this is my sample plugin, or you may say custom plugin. 
which basically make use of books management okay so this is the introduction part or description section that we have provided for this plugin so just save this file go to your browser and refresh this page once you refresh you can see that my book is now appearing into our list okay and this is the description section that we have written this is the version number that we have written and all these informations that we have provided by the help of this comment section okay so just i'm clicking on activate successfully we have activated plugin but nothing else happened because we haven't coded so far okay so just i am uninstalling this okay now we have done the two different tasks of our list like plugin folder structure plugin comment section as well let's define some constants which basically helps to introduce our plugin assets file okay means if you are going to attach our css file javascript files as well as images file in future then we need to make a constants which basically means attach those assets file to our plugin path okay so we need to make use of some constants before that so just back to our editor let's say about the plugin constants so if let me check that the plugins absolute part exists or not okay so let's say defined and here is abs path okay so this is a constant guys that a wordpress provides to check that absolute path exists for our setup or not okay so if not exist this constant then we need to simple exit from that okay else we need to make some constants for plugin which basically contains the directory path as well as the plugin url okay so if not defined let's say my book plugin path okay or you can say directory path so if it is not found then we need to make of that so we just use define here is the constant that we have created and let's assign a value with that so we need to make use of plugins directory path okay plugins dir path as a wordpress function to give the absolute path okay and just we need to make use of file magic function of php okay which basically gives the current file path okay and now we need to make use of another constant that we need to use in our plugin like has not defined defined okay and let's say my book plugin url okay basically contains the url and let's define this plugin also make a copy of that paste it here and let's use of plugins url okay so this is the another function guys that actually wordpress has provided which basically returns the path of that okay so okay let's re remove us from here it's plugin TI path okay and it's plugin C URL and next we need to attach the slug of our plugin with that okay and the plugin folder name is my books okay what we have assigned so far and this is how the folder name just copy of that my books and let's assign with that okay so this is the two constants guys that we need to make use of that in later video session this is like plugin GIR path as well as we have created plugin url okay so let's make a use of that let's check what are the values which basically it contains like if like echo path as well as make use of echo url as well okay so dr of that echo and here into tie okay let's take what actually basically these con constants actually contains go to administrator panel just refresh this page once we activate our custom plugin then 
okay let's check what is the error okay it's not an error guys because it is giving our path okay this is the absolute path of our plugin tir path constant that we have defined okay this is the path and this is the plugin url that we have assigned okay so let's check that this is our values or not like my plugin path okay let's check with that and this is my plugin url okay and just save this file refresh this page once more let's activate our plugin first and obviously guys these are the our custom values okay plugin di path and url as well so these are the path guys that we need to make use of our later video session to attach our views files with our custom plugin okay so basically we have made our two different constants which works in next video session okay so just get rid of that so basically we have introduced our plugin by the help of this comment section okay we have defined our two constants like plugin dir path and plugin dir url okay so we have taken the two values which we will use to attach our views files in upcoming videos and also to define any constant to your plugin first check that it exists or not so to check the existence of that constant we may need to make use of define function define function basically checks that this constant actually has defined already or not if it is not defined already then it will create a new constant with that name by using define as a method okay so just make use of defined ed and define without ed defined is used to check the existence of constant define method function is used to define your plugin constant okay so guys in this video session we have seen about the three aspects of our plugin like folder structure comment section as well as constants definition okay so in our coming videos we will discuss more about this plugin so if you have any query in this video session then please drop your comment i will be my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day.